Welcome to Close Call Sports and our Fixing the Strike Zone video, a responsible proposal for an electronic review system. But before we propose the system, a few quick facts. First, umpires do occasionally miss pitches. It does happen. But so do computers, and per the Commissioner of Baseball and the statistics, computers miss pitches at a rate greater than human umpires. Nonetheless, this proposal responsibly attempts to fix egregious errors. Trajectory measured by automated caller gives each team three challenges per game. Only batters, catchers, and pitchers may challenge and it must be an immediate challenge. The system will declare each challenge pitch to be a ball or a strike. And as again, it assumes the computer is 100% perfect and there is absolutely zero margin of error and nothing ever goes wrong. It's a utopian ideal. The way that it's going to work is as soon as a pitch comes in that a batter doesn't like, he tells the umpire, I'm challenging. The umpire says, okay, and then we go to the big screen. If the computer agrees with the umpire, it confirms the call. And if it doesn't, it overturns the call. That's it, because again, the computer's perfect. But so that the game doesn't slow down, there are a limited number of challenges per game and you lose the challenge if you're wrong. Meanwhile, the graphic and accuracy logic system acknowledges that a margin of error does exist and allows an overturned confirmed stance framework using similar ideas to the TMAX system. Only in the Gill system, we know that there is a borderline margin of error range and that's considered to lose the challenge because the call will stand. So we go back to the previous examples. The batter tells the umpire, I'm challenging. The umpire says, okay, we watch the big screen. The big screen will either confirm the call or if the call is in that borderline margin of error range, the call will stand and you'll lose the challenge. But the egregious misses, those are the important ones, will be overturned. The main difference, the TMAX system is only for use with zero margin of error, that's the future. The Gill system is for use with margin of error, that's now. To review, a few reasons we know that computers miss pitches at a rate greater than human umpires include these errors, standardization, calibration, vertical strike zone, 2D, 3D, final approach, track and capture margin, and the Atlantic League experiment in which the computer has failed to actually see pitches entirely. For more information about the electronic strike zone, see our podcast or watch our video, The Truth About Baseball's Electronic Strike Zone. We discuss all of these different errors and why MLB has been unable to implement a computerized strike zone in any form at the major league level. Multiple evaluation methods exist for the same raw data. MLB's private system for umpires called a zone evaluation. MLB's public system, which pretty much everyone sees, and what we have in the middle, UEFLFX. The private system, zone evaluation, has an approximate two inch margin of error. This is our best guess at an equivalent to the private system. For the purpose of this presentation, two inch margin of error is a good enough summation, though it is a little bit more complex than that. There's UEFL effects, which has a one inch margin of error. That's per the manufacturer. And finally, the public facing system that is used in broadcast and presented as the real McCoy, even though in very small print, the manufacturer says this system has a margin of error for entertainment purposes only. Here's an example of a pitch that an umpire calls a strike that is located significantly off the plate. All three systems have this as an incorrect call, and this is a prime candidate for a call subject to correction via our proposal. The problem concerns a pitch wherein the three systems disagree, such as this. The public system had this as an incorrect call, but both UEFL FX and the ML equivalent of private had it as a correct call. As you can see, the side view shows that the ball did cross the batter's knee. We discussed the vertical zone error in our video, and this is an example of it. Here's another issue. Post-game processing for the vertical zone occurs when the computer calls one thing in real time, and then after the game, because the computer's not good enough to figure out individual strike zones in real time, corrects itself. It's called post-game processing and sometimes changes quality of correctness from incorrect to correct on one or more of the three systems. In this case, UEFLFX was switched to from incorrect to correct based on post-game processing, which leaves us to, with two philosophical choices. One, allow the computer to call balls and strikes using the zero error or ML public scheme and accept the inaccuracy posed by all of these errors including any late breaking pitch that may capture the back part of the plate but not the front part of the plate, or number two, permit electronic intervention only in the case of clear and convincing evidence that the call was wrong. This uses ML private or UEFLFX approach, a margin of error system, 
and because the goal of the program is to decrease inaccuracy, we must eliminate the first option, because the underlying premise of number one is to accept inaccuracy. As for implementation, an in-ear headset fails with a margin of error. The in-ear headset won't know whether to call a strike or a ball on a borderline pitch. For a buzzer type system, this might sound enticing, but MLB has repeatedly stated that it does not want a fifth umpire or another human in the press box maintaining quality insurance pertaining to replay matters or, in this case, ball strike review. Finally, expand replay review to cover balls and strikes. This is what we're going with. And the reason we're going for this is the challenge system could be similar to tennis's Hawkeye. Hawkeye in baseball could be very similar and will allow for the greatest prospect of correcting overt ball and strike errors while not adversely affecting game flow by allowing teams to proactively challenge obvious misses and allowing borderline calls to stand due to the computer's potential inaccuracy on these very close pitches. But for this particular pitch, which was outside by a significant margin, Hawkeye would correct the problem. That's our solution and a responsible proposal for an electronic review system. If you like this video, subscribe and visit us on CloseCallSports.com or on Facebook or Twitter at Umpire Ejections.